guys, what's going on? We finally got to Sebring, Florida here at the Gravely testing site. And you can see the lineup of mowers over here. We got everything from zero turns, pro stance, to push mowers. And we even got some stuff right here. I'm not really quite sure what they are yet. I know this is kind of like a brush hog. Uh, looks like maybe an aerator or, or something like that. So we're gonna test that stuff out. So I'm here with Kevin with Fall River. What's up? Everybody knows Kevin. He's been on my channel uh, quite a few times. Uh, Blake, it's his turf. That's his plus one. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, he's kind of the uh, the plus one camera guy. But honestly, guys, if you haven't uh, haven't followed uh, Blake, uh, he's got a really really good channel going on right now. It's a uh, lot, lot of cool stuff. A lot, of, a lot of stuff you're not going to see on a lot of other channels, stone makers and things like that. And I think Kevin's even getting involved with that. Uh, pretty good too, right, Kevin? Yep. How yep. you like that stonemaker stuff? No, that stuff is fun. It is totally different than anything you've ever done in your life. Yeah. Um, it's fun to jump into the hardscape game and uh, kind of step up my game and get out. But it's just it's, mowing. it's different than just like you would normally think hardscape of pavers and things like that, right? Because right? you're going to actually stack the concrete. You're going to you're going to form the concrete. You're going to carve it. So you can make anything that you want to make. It's not just those basic square shapes. Cool deal. I want to introduce somebody to you guys real quick. This is Blake Hawthorne. Uh, his channel is uh, It's His Turf. We're going to do a kind of a complete interview. He's got a really unique story. They do a lot of unique projects. Uh, but I just kind of want to introduce uh, you guys to him real quick and kind of, if you want to, just tell everybody kind of what you do and kind of uh, how you got started. Absolutely. So uh, my name is Blake Hawthorne. My company is uh, It's His Turf. I'm based out of Hot Springs, Arkansas. I actually started as a lawn care company. Um, currently, we mow 385 yards about every 10 to 14 days. Um, and we're a full service landscape and hardscape company. I did a little bit of downsizing this past year uh, from 32 to 12 employees. And my focus is really on the hardscape where we're doing decorative concrete carving, um, some really custom hardscape jobs, and then focusing really on my routes uh, that I have with mowing those tight routes and maximizing profits with that. So cool. So what was the, what was kind of the big decision to go from that many employees down to 12? Um, we were running 15 trucks and crews. There's a lot of loose ends, a lot of things that were going on. I had my hands in too many baskets. Um, I was more of that jack of all trades, you know, yeah. thing. And I, I had to decide um, that I wanted to be really good at a few things. And I looked at my margins, what I was making the most money at, um, and what we were the best at, and where my passion was. So those are the three factors that went into it. And that's what kind of led the downsize. You know, I had a bad, uh, you know, bought out a, a buddy, bought out a buddy, and it went south. And so that was the spark of it. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, through it all, God showing me that he has a little different plan for it. So, cool. and it's just really led into this. We have 12 guys now, and we're probably going to do the same, if not better, than we did last year with a lot better margin. That's awesome. So, if you guys haven't uh, kind of realized what I'm doing yet, I've talked to a lot of different people over this off season, and I want to talk to guys like Blake, Lawn Care Millionaire, Mike Andes, those kind of guys, guys that are doing it on a different level than I am. And, uh, you know, I'm a firm believer firm believer that you got to talk to guys that are already in positions where you want to be and uh, I think it's really helping me out and I appreciate you coming on and like I said we'll do kind of I kind of want to sit down and get really in depth about your business I, cause I, I really think your business is unique compared to everybody else you do a lot of different stuff that I've never seen before right so uh, you know we'll get into all that in another video but uh, how are you liking it out here so far? Man, I love it. I, I mean, honestly, this is a bucket list, man. I've, I've ran Gravely for 11 years, and I'm going to see all these cool machines and just check them out. I'm, I'm excited, and it's got my pocket itching. I'm going <laughs> to probably end up buying a few more machines, but, you know, it's it's cool. It's, cool. it's a good time. So Cool deal, I'm man. To be here with you guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate so, you coming on. Absolutely. Thanks, man. I'm trying to film here, Wally.
So, you know, over the last few weeks, over the last couple months, we've talked about my business a lot. We've talked about uh, debt. We've talked about a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, one thing I do want to point out is uh, I'm not really looking to buy any mowers right now. I actually have too many mowers, but we, we are going to get a 60 inch Pro Stance to demo for the year. And uh, so we're going to kind of test it out. And, I, you know, I like doing that because I like getting my hands on different things. And, you know, when I am ready to buy, then maybe I'll pick a Gravely or, or whatever machines that I, I like. So, uh, so anyway, I'll take advantage of these kind of uh, testing uh, sites, whatever you want to call them to kind of get the feel for everything because I have I have all kinds of dealers around me so dealer support really isn't that big of an issue. Okay, so one piece of equipment that's really caught my eye is this little tractor deal where you can put different attachments on the front. You got an aerator, you got kind of a brush cutter, and you got a uh, power rake and an overseeder right here. But I'm pretty sure all these are interchangeable on the same tractor. Uh, that's definitely something I'm really, really interested in is having something like this to where I can you know, just change the attachment and not have to buy, you know, three different machines to do it. So anyway, like I was talking about these machines here, uh, definitely something I'm really interested in. I want to check these out. So I might be kind of maybe changing what I'm asking for as far as the demo goes. Um, we originally was going to do the 60 inch pro stance, but might try to get get one of these uh, tractors with the three attachments. And because I do have some lawn work to do, some overseeding, and I do want to kind of do some aerations this fall, do a bunch of those. And uh, I think these would really come in handy. So to make a long story short, you know, we actually, we went to Florida. You guys have kind of seen the video. So we're gonna do another demo this year. And what I'm actually getting is that tractor with three different attachments. And what I'm getting is a 36 inch finish mower, uh, the aerator and the brush cutter. I was gonna try to get maybe the, uh, the, the verticutter, the power rate, but I already have one of those. So I decided to do the uh, brush cutter and the aerator. And I wanted the finish mower because um, you know, I could use it on some backyards and, and that kind of stuff to where we can't fit the 48 in. So, but anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna demo that stuff out this year. We're gonna see how it works. I'm really excited about the aerator. That's, that's, the, that's the one I'm most excited about because I really wanna push aerations this fall, aerations and overseeding. And I think that walk behind um, aerator like that will just kind of speed everything up and I can get a whole bunch done in, in a short amount of time. So that's what I'm really looking forward to. And uh, this, is, this video here was just kind of a, uh, just kind of a short little kind of deal about how the trip was and that kind of stuff. And it was really good kind of getting to meet and getting to uh, hang out with all the other YouTube guys. Um, I always enjoy that. There was a few guys that I'd never met before, so that was awesome. Anyway guys, I wanted to uh, tell you guys thank you and we'll see you guys later.